Hello, I'm Mima. I'm a grandma and a mom, and I have a book today called What Do You Do With an Idea? One day I had an idea. Where did it come from? Why is it here? I wondered. And what do you do with an idea? At first, I didn't think much of it. It seemed kind of strange and fragile. I didn't know what to do with it, so I just walked away from it. I acted like it didn't belong to me. But it followed me. I worried what others, what others would think. What would people say about my idea? I kept it to myself. I hid it away and didn't talk about it. I tried to act like everything was the same as it was before my idea showed up. There was something magical about my idea. I had to admit I felt better and happier when it was around. It wanted food. It wanted to play. Actually, it wanted a lot of attention. It grew bigger, and we became friends. I showed it to other people, even though I was afraid of what they would say. I was afraid that if people saw it, they would laugh at it. I was afraid they would think it was silly. And many of them did. They said it was no good. They said it was too weird. They said it was a waste of time and that it would never become anything. At first, I believed them. I actually thought about giving up on my idea. I almost listened to them. <clears throat> but then I realized, what do they really know? This is my idea. I thought, no one knows, knows it like I do. And it's okay if it's different and weird and maybe a little crazy. I decided to protect it, to care for it. I fed it good food. I worked with it, I played with it, but most of all, I gave it my attention. My idea grew and grew. And so did my love for it. I like where this is going, don't you? I built it a new house, one with an open roof, where it could look up at the stars, a place where it could be safe and dream. I liked being with my idea. It made me feel more alive, like I could do anything. It encouraged me to think big, and then to think bigger. 
it shared its secrets with me. It showed me how to walk on my hands. Because it said, it is good to have the ability to see things differently. I couldn't imagine my life without it. Then one day, something amazing happened. My idea changed right before my very eyes. It spread its wings, took flight, and burst into the sky. I don't know how to describe it but it went from being here to being everywhere. It wasn't just a part of me anymore. It was now a part of everything. And then I realized what you do with an idea. You change the world. I believe that's the end. Let's see. Yes, it is. And it's not a, a, a very nice book. What do you do with an idea? Now, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but we were reading the book, and everything was kind of bland colors. But then, can you see that? But then, when the idea took flight, and it burst into something really big, and it changed the world, then it became colorful. The pages were more colorful because the world was better because of that idea. And it said, I don't know how to describe it, but it went from being here to being everywhere. It wasn't just a part of me anymore. It was now a part of everything. And that is what you do with an idea. You change the world. Did you know that every little thing changes the world? Every good little thing or every bad little thing. So when you have a good idea, it's good to keep it with you and to let it grow and to become a really great idea. Even if other people say, oh, that's a stupid idea. If you think it's a good idea, then it is a good idea. So you should keep it with you and let it grow and let it get big and let it make the world a better place. I know that um, some of you have ideas like you want to go to college. That's a great idea. Going to college will help you your whole entire life. And you know what? It will help your children and your grandchildren too because you will have a mind full of knowledge and you'll know so many wonderful things. So that's a great idea. That's one idea that I think a lot of people have. So I hope you have a good idea as well and that you can do it. So that was a book called What Do You Do With an Idea written by Kobe Yamada, illustrated by Mae Beesom. Excellent book. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Oh, I think there's somebody else I'd love too. Huh. Who could it be? Yes, yes, yes. It's you. I love you. I love you so much. I love you. Woo! So much. Mwah! Mwah! So I hope you'll come back and we'll do another story at another time. And in the meantime, don't forget. Don't forget who loves you because it's me, Mima. I love you. Love you lots. See you soon. <laughs>